Your recommended treatment plan is spot on, doctor. Thank you. You know, this is just a formality for the lawyers. You're a brilliant physician. You don't need any supervision. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Before you get all mushy on me, Monica wants to see you in her office. Well, I can't tell you how good it is to be home. I am spending the holidays right here with my family. And speaking of holidays, I'm wishing you and yours a real lovely one. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Are you ready for this? Well, I'm not sure. said you were expecting me. Yes. Have a seat. OK. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I'm here representing the hospital board. They want a recommendation regarding the lawsuit. Oh, a recommendation whether to go through a trial hoping to disprove the Muldoon's claim of negligence or whether they should make a separate settlement. Ah. Which would make you the sole defendant. All I can tell you is there wasn't negligent. I've gone over my notes and I've examined Mr. Muldoon's case from every possible angle. I know I did nothing wrong. Unfortunately, when Mr. Muldoon came to see me, he already had late-stage cancer. It had developed over many years, silently, without any noticeable symptoms. His cancer was also being masked by the presence of a tapeworm, which I found and treated with praziquantel. I had asked Mr. Muldoon several times to come in and see me for a follow-up, but he was very busy, and it was almost two months before he came back, at which time I ran further blood tests and more importantly, a colonoscopy, which revealed his colon cancer. You should do what you need to do. I understand. But I stand by my treatment, whether or not GH stands by me. <laughs> 